got two. Got a black one, white one, and a colour one. We've got one in my room, one in my brother's room, one in my mum and dad's room, one in the kitchen and one in the living room. One in my little brother's room, one in my room, one in the sitting room. We've got four. We've got one in my mum's front room, one in my bedroom, one in my brother's front room, and one in my brother's bedroom. We used to have another one, but we gave it to my aunt. Hello and welcome again to Talk Time. Today our subject is television. Has it become too important for people? With me in the studio, as always, I've gathered some experts in the field. First of all, Lord Riverside has just finished a report on the BBC. But he can't talk to us at the moment because EastEnders is on. Also with us is Professor Johnson. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's engrossed in sooty at the moment, so let's turn to our next guest, Lady Winderson. Oh, apparently, uh, she's nipped home to turn on the video, so we can't really have the discussion, can we? Oh, well, um, well, it's pretty obvious that TV doesn't rule our lives, doesn't it? So, uh, well, cheerio, then. <laughs> right, are we finished? What's on tonight? Have you got a TV Times? In order to find out how people watch television, several families were asked to use this special set. The camera records a black and white picture whenever the TV is switched on. The bottom left corner shows the program they are watching. The numbers at the top of the screen show the channel, the date and the time. I watch television as soon as I come home from school until about 5.45. When we get home from school, I watch it my older sister, brother, and my little sister. And then my mum goes in the kitchen to have dinner. So we start arguing, arguing, we don't get along. I can watch it by myself if my brother's not there, because he usually comes home from school earlier before me, and he usually has the TV on. But if I want to change it, I cannot change it. He's got to watch that programme. And if I come home first and I'm watching a programme, I don't want to change it, he will change it. And then we'll have a fight. <laughs> Love fellowship with other people. Because you can talk about what's just happened to someone, but if no one's seen it, then you can't really talk about it because they don't know what you're talking about. And if it's a scary film, you don't like being on your own. And if it's funny, you don't like laughing on your own either. You prefer laughing with other people. <laughs> Yeah, you need that. Yeah, really. Say they're all jokes, and it's a um, sort of television programme which people don't laugh in the background. And so, um, one of them might say, my sister laughs at something, and my, my brother goes, hey, that's not funny, you're so stupid laughing at that. And then when he laughs, and she goes, what kind of fat laughing is that? Look at you laughing that stupid joke. And he goes, just cos you never got it. <laughs> with my mum when I'm watching television. If I don't understand anything, then I ask my mum and she'll answer me. But if I keep on asking and asking, she'll say, well, why do you keep on asking me? What's the use in watching it if you don't understand it? I said, all right, I'm going to change it over. She says, no, because I want to watch it. So I just have to sit there and bear with it. We just watch the programme. My mum tells me to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I talk because I just ask my mum and she answers me. Even if I answer like, loads and loads and loads of times, she doesn't tell me to shut up or whatever. Linus Barbara's made peace and she's a woman and Michael Brandon is dancing and he's a man. No. I watch TV until about six and then move is on. Then I go out with sports and this and that. Good evening. This is the nine o'clock news. And first the headlines. And the first item is the power strike. So which city did it spread to today? Birmingham is the correct answer. Well done. £50 is yours. And now a bonus question. Can you tell me two unusual things about the leader of the power workers? Uh, he, he smokes a pipe and his daughter's a topless model. Absolutely correct. Well done, Tony. You've doubled your money to £100. 
Now, we're going to take a break, so see you in a minute. I enjoy it. I enjoy watching it. I like to know what's going on in the world if I'm not around there. Every time when you watch the news, something's bad, like someone's died. But then again, it tells you what's been happening and what to look out for and all those things. Well, is that not the news? Because there's always got things about kids being murdered and things like that, and it worries me. I don't like things like that. She saw that watches the news, and on the other side, and it's like better than, than that. And I'll stop moaning at my mum, and I'll just fling something down, which I've got in my hand, and run up to my bedroom. Daddy, why are your hands so soft? Gaius, Gaius, why are your hands so soft? Sergeant, Sergeant, why are your hands? Didn't think you'd get rid of us that easy, did you? Sometimes I turn over because adverts can annoy me, supposing it's a good film or a good series that's on, and it just cuts out as an advert. I get annoyed, so I turn over. If it's a good advert, I stay there, but if it's a boring one, Go and get some food. If he's a coke advert, I'll go and get a drink when the rest of the adverts come on. First of them boring, or I just sit talking to my mum till they're finished. That's why I usually watch BBC One, because our like, TV's got too many adverts. I usually watch BBC because my sister likes watching it, because she likes Philip Schofield, which I think is an absolute nutter. I like Philip Schofield. Especially it, um, his little animals all around him. And now that's the end of Children's TV. Tomorrow on Children's TV, we'll be looking at things to do with children. Won't we, Bippo? Yes, good. Don't forget, tomorrow, of course, we've got Strange Hill, where Nikki has her history project stolen, Frankie finds out that stealing is bad, and Zimmo is sent to prison for gunning down the entire second form. One day, we watched Strange Hill with my mum, and she doesn't like us watching that because she said it's too... There's too... You wouldn't see a school like Grange Hill. Like that... A girl called Imelda, she takes spray cans along with her and sprays at people's eyes. And she thinks that you wouldn't see anybody in secondary schools doing that. I think, yeah. I think it'd be like that in secondary school. Like, nobody's perfect in secondary school. There's always someone going around picking on someone yeah, else. Imelda. As Grange was a TV programme, children don't swear in there, so... And you do find the odd couple that do swear in secondary schools like this. Grange Hill is all about children and... In EastEnders, it's all about adults. I, I watch it because I think it, it is true to life, and a lot of things happen. People getting divorced, people having nervous breakdowns, people sending themselves and stuff. I think it's quite good. Yeah. Kelvin's friends had a surprise for him, and they had this this lady, this stripper, came in, and she was taking off her clothes and everything. And the mum and dad came in, and then they, yeah, she had only her knickers and. Ferrara. And they was just <laughs> looking at her, and, and then it's finished. And that's what I like about it, because it keeps you in suspense, like what's going to happen next and that, what you think. <clears throat> but I, don't, I think I know what's going to happen, but I'm not really sure. My favourite character is um, Angie Watts, that's Anita Dobson, because she's, she's a good actor. She plays her part really well. She, like, she really hates them, but she loves them at the same time. I don't like Den, Mehmet or Ali. I especially don't like Neymar's cousin who's oh, come him. to help. Oh. He's diabolical, he's disgusting. He, he's like, he's a creep, you know, a creep, you know, humble <laughs> person. I hate Mehmet, he's my worst. I don't like Dan that much because first he says he loves Andy and then he says he loves Jan and then and he lies all the time. I don't like any of the men. Uh, a lot of them, I think I like, um, Dirty Den, because he, um, he plays it really well. It's just a thing what happens, people getting divorced, going with other women. Just don't like dogs, she's too interfering. Don't like Angie, because she's um, too bossy. And I don't like Naima and Sue, because I reckon they're too loud-mouthed. I just like to punch them in the mouth. I always say that, because I reckon they're loud-mouthed. <laughs>
this afternoon we've got skiing, the men downhill from Switzerland. We've got weightlifting with those men capable of lifting three times their own body weight. We've got boxing with Thomas Hitman Hearns, and our featured match is Manchester United versus Manchester City. And for the girls, if we've got time, we'll fit in some of the women's badminton from Singapore. Girls prefer, like, romances and things like that, all love stories and things like that, all soppy stuff. And, and boys prefer sport or, or boxing or something like that. Things with a little bit of blood in it. She likes all pop and I like all sport. And to say there's a sport program on and there's a pop, she, she's got to make sure that she watches pop. There's usually this program, as soon as I come home, there's a program about motorbikes, that kids riding motorbikes and BMX and everything. And he always wants to watch that. Every day he comes home, it's either cars, motorbikes, or BMXs. He's always watching that. Hold on, Stuart. There's football and then my brother and dad go in the bedroom and we stay in the front room and watch the film. My brother doesn't watch it, he just wants to watch any stupid things like all Rambo and all them stupid things, boys things, that's all he has to watch. Ah, why are you doing this? Well, it's television, makes me violent. But it hasn't been invented yet. Well, well it doesn't bother me. The best bit and Omen 2 was when the doctor was in the list and he wanted to go down to number 16. And instead of going down, he went up, all the way up. And he kept pressing 16, and then it went all the way down, really fast, all the way down to three, but the cable didn't come down with him. So it came down, and he was looking up like that, and the cable just came down, and he heard it, and he looked around, and the thing just came and slashed him in half. In the Omen 3, when the baby got killed, I wouldn't believe in that, because they wouldn't just go and kill a baby for nothing. But I believe all the rest. I don't really believe it, but it, it seems real as if that person is dying right this minute in America and nobody's even watching. That's what I like about American films, but English films, you know that this person is not dying. But in American films, it's probably because of the background and everything, but it does seem real that the person is really dying. When I was younger, I used to be scared of watching horror films, and my mum just says to me, don't, don't forget, when you got sort of like the wolf running around chasing the people, you've got hundreds of cameramen, cameramen standing around filming it. It's not exactly real as if it's going to happen the next day. If I watch them by myself, I know that I will be scared. But if I watch them with my brother or my dad, then I know I won't be scared because I've got someone with me to comfort me. I watched it with my mum, but she didn't watch all of it. She fell asleep halfway. My mum normally lets me watch things, but um, if they're if they're too late, if they're really late, then she videos it for us. When my dad's not there, I watch what I want. But when my dad is there, I don't watch what I want. <laughs> well, that's the end of television for tonight, and for tomorrow, and for the rest of the week, and for everything. Good night. My television was broken about two months ago, and um. It was fixed after two days, but then two nights I couldn't properly sleep because I didn't watch television. I read a lot of books which are exciting and adventurous, mm. but I don't think they're as mm. good as TV. Nearly everybody in the class watches it, so it's all that sort of thing interesting to talk about. If you had another TV all your life, then you wouldn't really miss it, would you? Because you would be used to it. But if you had TV then it's suddenly taken away, it would, I think it would affect you. If there was no television, oh my god, it would be awful. I mean, I mean, what would I do to myself? What are you doing in this sort of thing? Like, you're going to sleep in your bed. Yeah, you're going to sleep in your bed. Yeah, I'm going to sleep in my bed. Yeah, I'm To order the Middle English Teacher's Notes, price £1.30, and the Pupils' Anthology, price £3.50, please send a cheque or postal order made out to Thames Television. 
to the school's publications officer, Thames Television, 149 Tottenham Court Road, London W1P9LL, or you can contact your local ITV company.